After an excruciating wait, Fortnite's three new mythics are now in game with a battle pass, but they also removed the most popular items with today's avatar update. Yes, we can now bend the elements and just like in the show, become the avatar ourselves, holding all four with water, fire, earth, and air. You'll find these at small dojos around the island with different symbols depending on the element. Some of these shrines even have a character guarding them and trust me, you'll wanna pick them up. Airbending is one of the most unique mythics we've ever had. In the show, airbenders are pacifists, so they don't like violence. And this is where Fortnite nailed that idea. Instead of using this mythic to attack players, it has a mobility feature that lets you speed through the map. You can roll up mountains with it, which could save you a ton of mats, but here's where it gets crazy. You're also able to cross over bodies of water, making this insanely useful. The bonus ability allows you to blast yourself and enemies into the air, but there's no real point to it. If you want this, head to the air temple and you'll find it on a podium alongside Aang, who sells shockwaves and flow berries because why not? Over at the Earth Temple, you can already guess what's here. Earth bending lets you fire rocks at enemies. There's only five uses, but it'll recharge over time, not to mention you can straight up spam these if you have more than one. I totally recommend aiming this at builds. Not only does it one-shot wooden brick, it deals damage through the walls, making this insanely powerful. You would think Epic would have learned their lesson from Thunderbolt, so I'm willing to bet this gets nerfed. There is also a bonus feature that lets you protect yourself with this mythic. It drags the ground up and creates a stone barrier, just like an ice wall from the My Hero collab. At the Earth Temple where you get this, Toph can be found, and if you talk to her as Aang, she'll call you Twinkle Toes, which is an awesome reference to the show. The most promising item lets you firebend. This is the simplest mythic, yet it's really satisfying to use. Just point at an enemy and blast him with fire. You can spam this over and over again without a cooldown. It's only 40 damage per hit, but if you have good aim, enemies are screwed. Of course, you'll find this protected by Zuko at the Fire Temple, where he sells cluster clingers and EMP grenades. Talk to him as Aang, and he'll throw shade at you. I have spent years training for this day, then you're just a child. Then, of course, we have Water Bending, an item that's been in the game since Korra dropped. It was super weak, leading Fortnite to drop a hotfix, increasing the damage, fire rate, and ice speed. Today, they updated it yet again, this time creating a Water Temple near Mount Olympus. You'll get two Mythics, and can find Katara as an NPC, selling a top up and a Flowberry Fizz. But if you want a top up, your health for free, just stand in water with the mythic. Now I mentioned the battle pass, which has brought Aang to the game. You get him immediately for buying it, but there is other cosmetics in here which are amazing references for Avatar fans. Aang's air sphere is a traversal emote which he loves to do in the show, while the Momo backbling is his adorable pet lemur. He sits there and takes a nap, but if he gets shot at, he'll cower away in the bag. Speaking of companions, Appa is the special glider hiding in the battle pass. As you complete the quest, you'll learn chakras, and if you collect all six, you'll get Appa for free. You don't even need to own the pass. He is probably one of the coolest gliders we've had in a while. After breaking free from the iceberg, now he's available to ride down onto the island, and when you deploy the glider, he'll even make his iconic growl. I do wish they took this a little further, her glider's pretty cool, but imagine if they brought back Clombo reskin as Appa, now that would be insane. There are details we could appreciate, I personally love the Avatar's flourish emote. This is part of Korra's secret quest, so when you unlock it, this works with any outfit. Except, if you use it while dressed as Korra, her eyes glow. Makes sense considering she's the Avatar, but with Aang dropping today, we wonder, does it also work on him? Turns out, his eyes glow too, something other skins cannot pull off. While you explore the map looking for temples, keep an eye out for an incredible easter egg. Around the island, there are cabbage carts for you to eat from, even though they're mostly destroyed. While most players walk straight past this, fans know exactly what it's referencing. My cabbages! The players also miss the forgotten skin that Fortnite is rubbing in our faces. One of the most popular characters in the show is Sokka, who doesn't have bending powers, instead he uses a club and eventually a sword. Well, if you look at Katara said, her pickaxe is the same club from the Water Tribe. Sokka is her older brother, so it makes sense, until you realize they also added his space sword. Okay, now it hurts, Fortnite. Fans are also speechless after Fortnite's decision to remove the ancient Greek items. Yeah, in a season themed around Greek gods, they have deleted all of the original mythics from the game. Instead, we only have avatar items. You won't be able to use the chains of Hades, blast people with lightning bolts, or fly around with the wings of Icarus until May 3rd. It's almost a whole month without him, which is definitely a controversial decision. But a lot of people didn't know about a secret change to Loot Island. 
Now when you claim it, you'll earn more items, with the game handing you avatar mythics on top of the gun drops. A lot of people think this makes Loot Island totally worth it now, but on the other hand, you can find the bending abilities pretty easily. But Fortnite completely messed up with the brand new Rocket Racing Pack. This was the very first quest bundle, giving you an exclusive car, outfit, and quest to earn styles. Except in Hungary, players loaded up the store only to find out the bundle cost 25 cents. Probably the weirdest mistake Epic has made in a long time, causing them to lose a ton of money. Speaking of uh, strange decisions, last season there was a whole storyline dedicated to Peely being kidnapped. It was really odd because Fortnite didn't acknowledge it for most of the season, and we found out how it ended through a loading screen. With Jones saving Peely, this was never talked about again, until now. With today's update, Peely is on the map and says he's thankful to be free. Then, if you talk to him as Vengeance Jones, he gives you a hug. Except he won't actually hug you, it's just dialogue that says he's doing it. Peely's not the only one that doesn't know what's going on. Fans of Avatar will know Toph is blind. They always joke about it, and Fortnite nailed this energy perfectly with Aang's NPC mocking you when you use her skin. But that's not all. If you use any emotes with her that have eye movement, she won't look around, being the first skin in the game to have this. But it turns out that it didn't take that blindness into account for Midas. We all know that he has one scarred eye, but Epic forgot to adjust this for the newer weapons. Now when you ADS, your character will close one eye to look down the scope. However, for Midas, this means he closes his good one, leaving him blind. A detail that actually makes sense is found outside of Fortnite. Invincible returned to the shop last week, which was understandable because the finale of the season released, but nobody expected an appearance on the other side. Suddenly, during the episode, Mark jumps out of a portal holding a Dragon's Rest sniper and uses it like a club. He basically visited Fortnite for a couple minutes to steal a weapon, leaving his snapshot behind. This week, Sharon appeared as an NPC on the island, selling a rift service and SMG, but his third item is what you gotta pay attention to. Turns out, Epic gave him the pro fishing rod, something we haven't seen in the game since chapter 3, and it makes sense because this thing is completely broken, catching nothing but small fry and trash. Not the only throwback you could find, because there is one reference on the map to an old villain. Since season 2 began, Restored Reels has been rebuilt and opened as an outdoor cinema, with stores and popcorn, there's even restaurants. But pay attention to the menus and signs, because these are straight from K Adel Thorne's Eclipse Company. Whether it's parts of his business still around, a little nod to Eagle Eye players, or just a reused asset, who knows, but definitely worth keeping an eye on. And it has been nearly four years waiting for one skin to make a return, Rue. She only released for one day in 2020, with her second appearance cut short and has never returned since. Players have speculated that Epic's blacklisted her after controversy sparked over her design, but that has changed today. With the latest update, she received a brand new Lego style, which usually means the skin will arrive in the shop, right? Well, not exactly. Turns out she's the only one that got a brick form, but no shop image, meaning there's still a chance she won't ever reappear again. Speaking of styles, sometimes they get completely overlooked, and this couldn't be more true for Valyria. She was a tier 100 of season 1, but almost no one noticed that her third style was Stygian Green. Yeah, the same name as the river sticks on the map right now. She had the same green flames as the Underworld, so it's crazy how Fortnite foreshadowed the season right in front of us. She was even the one to unleash Pandora's box. If you want to check it out for yourself, good luck trying to find her because the community is outraged with Epic's latest change. They made their most controversial decision yet, removing rarities. Not only does it make it hard to identify a cosmetic or how much it's worth, but it's also resorted the entire locker alphabetically. This means legendary skins can be at the top or bottom, and umbrellas aren't even grouped together anymore. Honestly, it's a mess. And while we got a bunch of new cosmetics and emotes for Coachella, there is still one more on the way. When the update dropped, Epic included an emote for this dance, one that's not even in the game. We all suspected it might be a Coachella emote, but after they dropped, it didn't match either of them, so expect another icon emote to be dropping soon. And it turns out they've already dropped more Avatar cosmetics that you don't even know about. There's items in the shop and a whole pass which includes a guitar for festival mode, so what about racing? Turns out, you can get your hands on a secret decal and boost by purchasing them in a Rocket League, giving you an Aang design for your Octane along with an Elements boost, both of which transfer over to use in BR or racing. It's everything you need to know about Fortnite's Avatar update, it's been Tommy and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.